People tell us every week that our information has helped save their life. If you agree that this is helpful information, please like, share, and most of all, subscribe. Because nothing makes a channel like subscriptions. One of our patients and friends named Joe came on and he had an LP little a value, gosh, seven or 800. Given what I do for a living, you might guess, I've had LP little a patients, a French Canadian subpopulation that has very significant LP little a. In fact, to the extent that they will have aortic valve calcification. And yes, Joe Riley, who had appeared on the show and told us his story, had had some problems in his family and himself with some aortic calcification. So I'm going down this path. If you've never heard of LP little a, let's stop for a second and talk about it. Did you ever hear of the show, The Biggest Loser? There was a trainer, Bob Harper. Bob Harper was the trainer on The Biggest Loser. He was in his early fifties, had a heart attack one day when he was training. He was in great shape physically. And and it was like, oh my gosh, what happened? So he comes out that week and says, it's LP little a. Again, if you've never heard of it, one of your questions might be, so what is that? And then he said the next statement, I got it from my mom. Well, LP little a is a genetic issue. It's a thing that many doctors have known about for a long time. But since the medical community didn't know there was much they could do for it, they didn't even talk to patients about it. They didn't look for it. Here's what it is. LP little a is actually a genetic variation of LDL. It's a genetic variation that has its own significant unrelated risk of cardiovascular disease. Once you start getting into the molecular view of LP little a, it has a thing called Kringle repeats. It's repeated sections of proteins over and over and over again that hang off of the LDL particle, the LP little a particle. And some people have said in the past, often wondered, well, does that appendage of Kringle repeats, does that cause it to hook onto the intima layer? Does it cause something else? That may be a possibility. There's actually more research recently indicating that for some reason it appears to have more of an attraction for oxidized LDL. Bottom line is we're not completely sure how and why, what the molecular mechanism is for LP little a risk, but we know that it's there. And again, I'll go back and I'll say, most doctors aren't even aware of it. Well, things did change with Bob Harper. It became much more of a prime time thing. People began to learn about it, began to become aware of it. Something else happened too that often changes awareness, especially in the United States. They develop a set of drugs. They're called anti-sense drugs. And those anti-sense drugs had a huge impact on the LP little a levels. 